Tonight, on the 70th anniversary of the National Health Service, we are live across the country with the people on the front line of our cradle-to-grave healthcare system. Our lives in their hands. We talk to the surgeons pioneering the medical advances over the last seven decades. The new health secretary on the scale of her task to meet the challenges facing the NHS in Scotland. And we're in the hospital kitchens to find out why fish custard and gruel are off the menu 70 years on. I'm Andrea Brimer. This is the STV News at 6, live from Aberdeen Royal Infirmary. Good evening from Aberdeen Royal Infirmary and this special edition of the STV News at 6 to mark the 70th anniversary of the NHS, the National Health Service. All this week we brought you stories chronicling the healthcare system we've all grown up with. Tonight we're talking to the patients and the NHS staff on the front line, the very people who take care of us from cradle to grave. <laughs> But now, here's Ben with a roundup of some of the rest of today's news. Good evening. A report into a helicopter crash in Norway, which killed 13 people, including a man from Aberdeenshire, says significant lessons must be learned. Investigators say the incident had clear similarities to an earlier fatal accident off the coast of Peterhead in 2009. Rachel Stewart reports. Ian Stewart from Lawrence Kirk was one of the passengers on board the helicopter near Bergen in April 2016. Without warning, the main rotor suddenly detached and the Super Puma plummeted to the ground. Everyone on board died. Today at this press conference in Norway, investigators confirmed that the crash had been caused by a crack in the gearbox, similar to this fatal incident in 2009 off the coast of Peterhead, prompting criticism that manufacturer Airbus should have done more to prevent a repeat. That could have been better, that's our view, and looking at uh, this, uh, in context with the Tura accident, uh, it could definitely have been uh, improved both by Airbus and by EASA. Well, I'm quite confident when the workers read this report in full, it will reinforce their stand. But as far as they're concerned, they will never set foot into one of these helicopters ever again. And that's a, a view supported by their trade unions and also, of course, by their families and friends. Too many people have lost their lives as a result of this particular helicopter. Airbus say their helicopters meet the most stringent global airworthiness standards. But 12 recommendations have been made to improve safety and the report concludes that significant lessons must be learned. Rachel Stewart, STV News. A 16-year-old boy has been charged over the death of Alicia McPhail on the Isle of Bute. The six-year-old was reported missing while staying with her father and grandparents in Rothsey. Her body was discovered less than three hours later nearby. Ewan Petrie reports. <laughs> Those who knew her have described Alicia McPhail as a smiley wee girl. This video posted online shows the six-year-old laughing and joking with her uncle. Callum McPhail said he wanted to show everyone what a lovely girl his niece was. <laughs> Around a dozen police officers spent this morning combing the beach near to the house where Alicia was staying with her grandparents when she went missing. They were searching for evidence to give them a clearer picture of exactly what happened to the six-year-old. Alicia was reported missing from this house early on Monday morning. Her body was discovered in woodland nearby a few hours later. Last night, police confirmed they had arrested a 16-year-old. This afternoon, they gave an update on their investigation. I can confirm that uh, a 16-year-old male has this afternoon been charged in connection with the death of six-year-old Alicia McPhail, whose body was discovered on Monday morning. I like to take this opportunity to personally thank Alicia's family we have shown incredible bravery through what has been an unimaginable ordeal during these past few days. Every day the messages of sympathy and support arrive at Alicia's grandparents' house. 
The growing tributes, a sign of the shock felt on this island and beyond as details emerge of what happened here. Ewan Petrie, STV News, Rothsey. Two men who kicked another man to death in his own home have been jailed for life. Ryan Gibb and Cameron Laurie have been convicted of murdering 37-year-old James Chadwick at his flat in Aberdeen's Holland Street in 2015. Both men will each serve at least 18 years in prison before being considered for parole. There was major disruption for hundreds of workers in Dundee this morning after an underground explosion caused a power outage. A loud bang and rising smoke from a manhole cover was reported by a member of the public at 25 past 8 in the Green Market area. Police and fire engines closed the road while investigations were carried out. Power was restored to 39 businesses by noon. SSE blamed an underground cable fault. Football now and Inverness have named defender Carl Trimarco as their new captain. The 32-year-old made 139 appearances since arriving five years ago. Trimarco is hoping to lead the Cali Jags back to the Scottish Premiership. I don't see why if we don't get a good start, you know, we can't kick on. Because we finished the season like a train, yet we've got new bodies in and hopefully they'll make us better. Um, but like I said, regards to myself and, and, and leading the team, it's just... It's just what you see from me every week and you've seen for the last five years. Things won't change from, from, from my point of view, really. Well, that's all from me. Now back to Andrea for the rest of our NHS at 70 coverage from Aberdeen Royal Infirmary. Thanks, Ben. Welcome back to Aberdeen Royal Infirmary on this 70th anniversary. And that just about sums it all up. From cradle to grave for all its ills, for 70 years, 24 hours a day, there is the NHS and of course these people here to help you. The big questions about its future for the next 70 years may still have to be answered, but today on this milestone anniversary, it's all about the celebration of how far the service has come. And thanks to all of you. Good night.